Weil sie
is on the scene and the giants now want their uh, pay if you will so Loge he says I know of a situation under the earth that has happened where this fellow Alberich has stolen the gold from the magnificent Rhine maidens and he has um, a ring and Loge kind of knows everything he's everywhere you know he's fire and fire is everywhere you know and he's in the middle of fire. So if you strike a match, Loga's there. Anyway, so Loga says, listen, let's go down and get this Alvarez and take his gold from him and give it to the giants. Now, the giants are sort of leery of this. But Loga promises them that they'll get the gold and they'll be happy. But they can't have Freya. So the giants think, well, I don't know about that, you know. You know, we really want, uh, we want uh, Freya, because she's beautiful. So what happens is this. They don't really want to, uh, shall I say, Wotan just doesn't want to agree to that. So the giants say, hear might in unser Macht. They say, here, maid, come to us, you're ours. They don't want to agree to this situation. You're going with us. Wotan is in trouble. So he, they take, the giants take Freya. And Freya, you know, she's, she's yelling, Hilfe, Hilfe. She's yelling, help, 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 help me. So, but the giants take her off, you know. And Wotan is sort of stuck now. Because Freya does a very interesting thing. She grows these apples in her garden that makes the giants strong. And without her, the giants become weak. So as soon as they take Freya, the giants start becoming weak. So Wotan is now forced to do as Logos suggests. Go down under earth and get this Alberich and get the gold. So off they go. Den Wänden rief 
This thing really gets tricky now. All right, they're underground here, and they run into this uh, 
character called Mima, who's like a little tiny little troll dwarf, who works for Alberich, you know. And Alberich has all of these people under his power. Because he has taken that gold and he's made something called a Tarnhelm. And this is a type of hat that you put on like a covering. And it will change you into whatever you want to change yourself into. Now he's got this Tarnhelm and he also has this powerful, powerful ring. And Mima knows all of this, you know, when he sees Votan and Logan. He sort of tells them what they're going to be up against dealing with Alborish. And he tells them how horrible, uh, you know, of a person that Alborish is. So Votan lays in the cut, and finally Alborish comes out. So Alborish spills the beans. He sort of tells uh, Votan and Logan uh, what he's all about and how he came about this uh, fortune, if you will. So he shows them how he can turn himself into a snake. And the music sort of describes this sort of situation. He puts this tarn helm on his head and he turns himself into a snake.